20-year-old Gloria Nguich, who has been battling nodding syndrome for years, died just two weeks ago. The debilitating condition continues to wreak havoc in the lives of the victims and their families alike in the northern districts of Padel, Oyam, Kitgum and Gulu. Those with what the Center for Disease Control calls an explained neurologic condition suffer frequent seizures and a mental handicap. Margaret Komwaji is the chairperson of the Parliamentary Committee on Gender, Labor and Social Development. Her committee visited communities affected by nodding syndrome in November 2016 and is yet to table its findings before Parliament. The health workers who are, who are psychiatric, who are therapists are not there. So they, 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 there is that, also there is that shortage of health workers that are attending to these children, most especially community rehabilitation professionals. Chua West Constituency Member of Parliament Okin Ojara, whose constituents have witnessed the condition firsthand, accuses the Minister of Health of not doing enough to manage the problem. I've been in conversation with the medical director of medical health, medical director of health, health services in Kipdum district on this matter. He told me that you know the ministry had not sent money to be able to provide feeding facilities to these kids. The people of uh, northern Uganda, especially the families that are affected by nodding syndrome, believe that you've neglected them to just left there to die. Personally, I know I've done significantly well with them. Uh, when I was the prime minister of Chilike Kwaro, I made sure food is distributed to the families, which would take them about six months. But what needs to be done as communities affected lose hope of survival? For instance, give them ox plows, give them seeds or, or high nutritious, uh, nutritious uh, food, give them uh, medical care. Komhand told NTV that her committee's report on nodding syndrome will be tabled in parliament after the budget process. We are calling in Minister of Health and Centre for Disease Control to tell us what the findings and why they cannot make strategic intervention. When contacted, officials from the Ministry of Health said that they will be able to give a response by Friday. However, an earlier statement released by the Ministry in December 2015 said the condition was under control and there were no new cases. It also states that it had established 17 nodding syndrome treatment centers. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV.